Welcome. I'm Hideaki Murayama, the department head this year. We'll start the briefing session on the entrance examination of the Department of Ocean Technology, Policy and Environment. Through the use of large oceanic space, it is expected to strengthen drastically the basis of resources of food, mineral and energy and at the same time to solve environmental issues. The Japanese exclusive economic zone is said to be the sixth largest in the world. The Japanese EEZ is considered to be rich in mineral resources, methane hydrate, fishery resources, and marine renewable energy from the wind, wave, ocean current, and tidal current. The goal is to produce competent and internationalized graduates qualified to take on the various issues of the 21st century through the utilization and understanding of the oceans surrounding us. The department was established in 2008 and we have led the research and development projects in terms of various ocean engineering and sciences. For greenhouse gases reduction, we are doing researches about power generation and transportation using ocean renewable energy and also undersea isolation of carbon dioxide. In addition, observation and prediction of sea state in polar regions and extreme events are important research area for climate change prediction or safe and environmentally friendly marine use. For sustainability, uh, the department and appropriate management of submarine resources and fishery resources are critical issues. And these researches are supported by the state of the art and high level research about ocean drones, sensing technologies, composite structures, and simulation. The academic program in the department aims to acquaint students with ocean technology policy, marine resource development, marine energy utilization, marine environment conservation, and ocean fundamentals. Accordingly, our research program leads to the development of new ocean industries and marine environments of key technologies for ocean utilization and conservation and of ocean policies. What is unique about the department is that the learning experiences about ocean and engineering are not required before entrance. The department is open to students with various educational backgrounds and the student can strengthen the fundamental knowledge through the courses provided. Moreover, to prepare for a successful career, the department provides opportunity for internship in industry and national labs during master's program. Opportunity to study abroad without taking a leave of absence from the University of Tokyo is provided as well. And the student can attend extension lectures and seminars for industry people. The lectures are structured into two tiers, basic topics and advanced topics. The basics include the fundamentals such as ocean development, fluid dynamics, material and structure mechanics, and also lectures related to environment, ocean science, modeling, and sensing. The acquired basic knowledge will be utilized in advanced lectures such as ocean technology policies, new industry development, and marine environmental creation. Opportunities are provided to study abroad as well. 
students can study at the Imperial College London and other affiliated universities. At the ICL, the student can study for half a year without taking a leave from the University of Tokyo. During that time, the tuition is exempt at the ICL. A part of travel expenses may be supported by the department. Note that the living expenses, accommodation, and insurance should be covered by the student. Students go out in the field to pursue their research. Many students were on board a research vessel from the Arctic to Atlantica and the mid-latitude in between. Nearby oceans provide us with opportunity study as well. We have been to Izoshima for a field exercise. You can also conduct measurement at the Hiratsuka Observation Tower owned by the University of Tokyo. Graduate students assisted an undergraduate course at the Hiratsuka Tower as a teaching assistant in the past. The University of Tokyo owns renowned large basins such as towing and shipping tanks. Students can use these tanks to pursue their research. Financial support is provided to those who have advanced to the PhD program. Both masters and PhD students present their work at domestic and international conference. The research is not limited to the laboratory, and students can participate in joint research with companies and research institutes. Efforts may lead to winning a prize at a conference or a competition. There is something more to enjoy than just studying. Students enjoy sports activities, barbecues, and camps with your lab mate. Graduates from the department are successful in a wide variety of occupations. The jobs are not necessarily restricted to ocean fields. That is because the broad perspective demanded in pursuing research of the ocean is something that is highly appreciated in other fields as well. The study of the ocean encompasses science, engineering, and policy includes coastal and offshore regions and covers human activity to natural disasters. Our department consists of four groups, the Ocean Environment Group with five faculty members, the Ocean Utilization Group with four faculty members, the Ocean Sensing Technology Group with three faculty members, and the Marine Research and Development System Group with two faculty members. Students can select supervisors from these faculty. From here on, we will provide information on the entrance examination. I'm sure you are anxious about the COVID-19 pandemic, but the entrance exam will be held this year as usual. However, note that the scheme will change from last year's and the guideline for applicants and entrance examination guides will be updated. Information on the entrance examination of the department will be updated as well. When you apply to the entrance examination of the department, 
you need to access to the website of the Graduate School of Frontier Sciences, GSFS. You can see the detailed procedure there. I will explain the entrance examination schedule. The examination of Schedule A will be held in August of this year, and the examination of Schedule B will be held around the end of January next year. First, about Schedule A. The applicants must read the guidelines carefully. Depending on the novel coronavirus infection, the examination method may be changed. Please be sure to check the website of the department for the latest information. Special oral examination is given to applicants who have achieved an outstanding academic record and who planned to enter this department as their first preference. The number of accepted students is about 10. Application period is from May 20 to 26. Applicants who passed the document screening are interviewed online. Applicants must make a presentation regarding their motivation for applying to this department and the research plan in the master course. Questions follows. Examination is scheduled on July 2nd. It will be held by online. The time and method of the network connection of the oral exam will be announced later. We will test the connection period to the oral exam. Those who passed the special oral examination are exempted from the written and oral examinations of the ordinary examination. Those who pass the special oral examination may not change their numbered preferences for programs indicated in the inquiry seat after the examination. We will confirm your preference during the special oral examination. Those who are not admitted by document screening or the special oral examination may take the ordinary examination. When an applicant takes the ordinary examination, the submission of the application is not required. Each laboratory has a quarter of students who take the ordinary examinations, written and oral examination. I will explain about ordinary examination. The number of accepted students is 18 for the master course and 7 for the doctor course, respectively. Application period is June 9 from June 9 to 15. Examination for master course is scheduled on August 22 and 23. Specialized subjects and oral examination are held in person on 22. You may have TOEFL ITP exam on 23 August. TOEFL ITP is only in person. First, Examination for doctor course is scheduled on August 22, 23, and 24. You have the specialized subjects and oral exam in this period. In the second examination, your master's thesis will be examined. In the case of admission in April 2023, the second examination will be planned from the end of January to the beginning of February 2023. The time and method of network connection will be announced later. We will test the connection period to the oral exam. Online examination will be provided for applicants who cannot come to the examination venue due to 
and avoidable circumstances. If you have unavoidable circumstances, please contact to admission at mark rtpe.k.u tokyo.ac.jp. I will explain the examination for the ordinary examination. First, about English. Applicants can take TOEFL ITP test at Kashiwa campus and or can submit a valid TOEFL or TOEIC score sheet. The detail is available in information on entrance examination. Second, about specialized subjects and oral examination. Specialized subjects consist of a problem designed to evaluate logical thinking and basic mathematical skills, and an essay on specialized subject. You can refer to the past examination questions for the specialized subjects. In oral examination, applicant is examined about undergraduate research and research interest in master course. The examination can change due to the situation of COVID-19. Basically, the specialized subjects will be held at Kashiwa campus. However, online examinations will be provided for applicants who cannot come to the examination venue due to, the, due to unavoidable circumstances. The online written exam will be conducted with the same contents and simultaneously with that of Kashiwa campus. The detail is available in guidelines for applicants and information on entrance examination. Here, I show you the major differences in doctor exam from master exam. At first, it will be held online. Article review is required and you will submit it and be asked about it in the oral exam. Also, you need to submit a valid TOEFL or TOEIC score sheet. And one of the specialized subjects, that is, the problem designed to evaluate logical thinking and basic mathematical skills, is required, but another one, that is, an essay on specialized subject, is not required. Finally, I show you the number of students accepted per laboratory. Number of students per laboratory will be decided by the following procedure. Acceptable number in special oral and ordinary examination is 3. For Waseda Kodaira lab, it is 4. You can see the number of Waseda Kodaira lab in the brackets. Maximum number for special oral examination is 2. If a laboratory accepts two students by special oral examination, then the number for ordinary examination will be 1. In the same manner, if a laboratory accepts one student by special oral examination, then the number for ordinary examination will be 2. If a laboratory doesn't accept any students by special oral examination, then the number for ordinary examination will be 3. Schedule B The applicants must read the guidelines carefully. Depending on the novel coronavirus infection, the examination method may be changed. 
please be sure to check the website of the department for the latest information. Details will be made available on the department website by the end of October. The number of accepted students is a few for both master and doctor courses. Application period is around November 2022. Examination will be planned from the end of January to the beginning of February 2023. Examination is similar to that of Examination A and an essay on motivation will be required and it will be held online. Thank you for listening.